we're at Comic Conroe. This is day one, and this is Friday. They're here all the way through Sunday, so come on out and check it out. Ah! <laughs> the con hour is here too. <laughs> come have some fun, come on. Helmet giveaway, the Magic the Math Morning Helmet giveaway. Everybody that pre-bought tickets, uh, we did this as a special gift for our uh, for our fans for the show. Everybody that pre-bought their tickets online, automatically get entered to win. Here I'm at Comic Conroe at the Lone Star Convention Center on Airport Road in Conroe, Texas. If you're not here, this is the first day we're about to open up, so come here for the three-day weekend at Comic Con Room. I've got a table over on the side, so when you come in on the left, and I'm right next to the con hour, so right me or right here if you want to come say hi. I've got free swag as well as movie jewelry for sale, and these baskets are all being right along. So. His amazing leather work that is leather sculpture. <laughs> it is. And what have you got new to show us today? Um, the dragon box is one of the new, newest pieces. That's gorgeous. That uh, is all laser etched on the inside with 18 karat gold leaf. What? That's one of the newer ones. Um, Boogie Boogie and Jack and Zero. Those are all new pieces. The Star Wars Jedi manuals, which are screen accurate. Ever so old. Um, one of the pieces which is currently on the floor because the frame just broke and it sells, so I'm gonna reframe Pennywise tonight, because this is actually being raffled off on Sunday. Ooh, it's right. a $2,000 piece and the frame broke. <laughs> Gosh. So I get to reframe that tonight, yay. So you're raffling off Pennywise? A dollar a, dollar a ticket and 2,000 tickets will be sold, maximum, that's it. So you have a one in $2,000 or 2,000 chance of winning it. That's a really good off. That is awesome. That's and it's solid leather, took me three weeks to make. Travis Huffman, and um, I am the writer of the Stalker comic book, and uh, we, we're all set up here. We have a Stalker comic. Uh, we only have a couple trade paperbacks left right now in stock because uh, there's a national paper shortage, so we kind of have um, some single issues, so we're doing the same special. You get uh, four comics and two posters for $25. And then um, I'll sign it for you also. And then we have some little um, grab bags over here that kind of go along with the stalker story. Uh, we have a character called the Talisman who, um, like our world, human beings aren't supposed to use magic. And so there's one guy uh, <laughs> who's developed ways to fight monsters. So that's those little, little trinkets. And we have some little grab bags here too that are... Um, We'll have little trinkets inside of it to kind of go along with the story. And we've got all of our posters, all of our posters here, and 
It's all fantastic artists that we work with all over the world. And we're selling some of their artwork here. So, and my, my, uh, we're doing dual cons this weekend. So um, one of one of my uh, business partners is um, he uh, he's couldn't come today. So my son Tyler is helping me. And then uh, my other partner, uh, Patrick, is at Eastern Rim uh, in Baytown, Texas. Uh, Eastern Rim Funny Book and Vintage Cons. So we're doing dual Comic Cons this weekend. So. Got your hands full. Thank I do, you so yeah, much. yeah, we both do. Yep. And do you have a website available where people can get this whenever the convention's over? Yes, you can go to lastcenturycomics.com. And that's uh, L A S T. S E N T R Y, like our like our name, comics.com. Hello. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Very good. Thank you. What do we have here? <laughs> these are like um, uh, Peppercora okay. kits. And these are all, you know, the old toys I played with when I was a kid. And it's, so it's a passion project, number one. I didn't play with that one, but he's cool. I saw him in Japan. They're awesome. But we're, these are pre-made kits, so it's uh, these instructions, these what you hit, you build it, that's what you do. Awesome. Thank you. And you're selling the kits for these? Yes. And this is, are these the... Uh, those are the instructions. The instructions, okay. Yeah, so those are the instructions. Also, we, we also okay, made this one, are. this kit too. Oh, wow. and so, this is paper? <laughs> oh, it's foam core. Okay. But yeah, that's Han Solo's blaster. That is... He shoots so, ping pong balls. That is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that was neat. Zavala. Zavala, okay. <laughs> and they have an awesome setup this year, Comic Con Road. So, um, what do y'all have? Uh, the USS Zavala this year did a Star Trek The Next Generation theme um, because we wanted to feature the new Borg alcove uh, or regeneration chamber um, that one of our members recently acquired. And so we built the rest of our booth around that theme. So. The next generation is what what we're featuring. Uh, we also have some of the other characters featured, and we have um, some uh, comic books we're giving out to the kids. We also have some paper uh, board cubes that the kids can cut out and assemble and make their own board cube. That's so awesome. everything was based around the next generation and the Borg and the those characters, Captain Picard and all of those characters this year. Awesome, and of course y'all have. Adopt a uh, tribble. tribble. Yes. That's right. <laughs> uh, the tribbles are one of our charitable fundraisers that we do each year, and 100% of the proceeds go to the Houston Area Women's Center for the victims of uh, domestic violence and abuse. And they're so soft and fluffy. Yes, <laughs> they definitely come get one. <laughs> they are either softer and fluffier this year than I've ever seen them before. So we had a good batch of tribbles this year. Some of the booths here that you need to definitely check out at Comic Con Row, and this is Rebel Legion, and they do a lot of charity with Make a Wish. Correct. And I'm going to let him tell you a little bit about what they do. Right. Well, I'm actually here representing the 501st, the Rebel Legion, and the Mandalorian Mercs. Um, we're all joint working together to raise money for Make a Wish. We're nonprofit organizations. We show up for any charity event that invites us and help raise money and support what the charities are looking at. Everybody. So we're here raising money for Make a Wish this year, and hopefully we can send a kid to uh, raise a wish. So they have some awesome Star Wars cosplay that you definitely don't want to miss, and uh, yeah. <laughs> Ladder art that he does. He does different styles. So he gets bored if he 
does just like one style for every single piece. Mm -hmm. He wants to make it unique every single time. So each of his series is a different style of art. He did a splatter effect for all of his Marvel pieces. He's got Wanda, of course Scarlet Witch, Loki, Politician Loki, because that's one of the most popular. <laughs> Spider-Man, upside down, there we go. Oh. <laughs> and then Spider-Gwen, special request by my niece. Awesome. Moon Knight, which is one of my favorites from the last uh, Marvel series. And then how he started doing all these was he started by making play mats for the Digimon card game. And these were some of his play mat and card designs for the card covers. And then our friends kept telling him, dude, these are awesome, will you make us some? And then it just kept spreading and spreading until I told him, I said, why don't you make some other pieces of art that aren't just play mats and ones that we can take to conventions. And after some pushing and some prodding, he finally agreed, let's do some cons. And so he made several different pieces. He's got um, Demon Slayer, Dragon Ball. It's even got, I love this piece, because it's got little Goku on his little Nimbus cloud. And then um, Evangelion, another anime. He's got his Pokemon ones. These are all designed after the original starter covers for the um, or original Pokemon games from the 90s. Uh, it was the original Japanese release of the Game Boy games. Um, he did this Star Trek for my dad. And then we've got the Joker and Batman. And as you, again, as you can see, different styles for every single piece he does. Okay. He's got Gundam Wing. And then My Hero Academia. This is hmm. most recent. Watercolor style, that's cool. So, he, does he do, um, sorry, commissions? Yes, he okay. does commissions. Um, his artist name, and he does have an Instagram page, is OSC Studios. Artist Max Peck, that's my husband. And um, you can find him on ArtStation as well as Instagram. I'm Tony Saavedra, also known as Chicken Bake Art. And here at the Comic Con Rule. And um, here are my, my art. I have my colorful stuff here. And then uh, also, I was recently also published in Rick and Morty cover as the, as the colors too. So if you want that sign, I can sign for you too. And uh, you can find me at chickenbakeart.com or, or on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Tinder. Not <laughs> And yeah, come on by and uh, help support the artists out. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shelby and I created Shelby New Creates. I've been doing artist tables for about a year and had my business for about two. Uh, you can find my stuff on Etsy and I also have TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, you name it, I got it. Um, so come out to, what is this, Comic Con Row? <laughs> come out to Comic Con Row. Um, there's a lot of great artists here and a lot of great uh, guests. So come out this weekend and if you don't make it, you can check out my Etsy at Shelbunny Creeks. Uh, so yeah, thanks. Force activation. Force activation. Here, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the current gear invoice again. We are the League of Villains. <laughs> My wife tells me what to do. <laughs> Going 
going up against Josh the Hound. Doing battle right outside the arena where you can see it live and in person to see an actual armored fight from the Middle Ages. Come check it out while you can. Our fighter with the buckler and the one-handed falchion is Josh. Our fighter with the two-handed axe is TJ. Y'all ready to see some fighting? Woo! exactly happen very often you may get hurt like ah oh, man I'm gonna be sore for a week or man I got a bruise or a black eye or a busted lip stuff like that happens but generally speaking our armor does its job and keeps you safe it worked back in the day until guns came out so it does its job it worked rather well yeah. well, I do want to do it oh, you want to do it <laughs> come here Oh man. <laughs> All right, right y'all ready for round two? Griffin Wing Studio. My name is Q Griffin. So yes, my, use my name in there. Uh, but uh, basically what I'm doing here is I create 3D backgrounds and then I take a photo of you on the green screen and then I composite you into that 3D background. Uh, generally I give choices. Usually uh, it'll be three to five. Uh, today was just kind of a test run to see how uh, quickly we could I could do it and get it done um, and then uh, tomorrow is like kind of the big day so uh, we'll see we'll see how well it goes tomorrow with like an actual with a crowd you know so uh, other than that I mean that's pretty much it it's uh, it's really neat I'll probably have three to five different backgrounds you can choose from different uh, concepts and things such as that so like maybe a nature scene and a cityscape uh, or perhaps even um, something more battleground type or maybe even kind of more comic book style Marvel. Not so much Marvel specifically, but just comic book, big superhero, that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, that's basically what I do. Awesome. So these are examples of These are some examples of some things that I've done in the past uh, recently. Yeah, uh, here I can grab this one. It's just the one of The Martian. Everyone remembers The Martian movie. It's a pretty iconic movie. Uh, so yeah, I just took, this is actually done not with my nice expensive 3D, you know, 3D, a uh, little lot, excuse me, I can't talk. <laughs> no DSLR camera. This was actually just done with my phone. It's a selfie done with my phone. Um, and then I, you know, put the back, you know, composited in there. This is a, uh, this was done also, this is another shot that was done with a phone. And then I, created, you know, everything that you see there um, using composites and, and uh, stuff like that. And then this is one that I did completely from scratch. So the woman is 3D character, all her little minions in the background are 3D characters and everything else, you know. And so yeah, just, uh, it's just a little bit of a little bit of coolness there for you if you think that's cool. So, so yeah. stop on by Comic Con. Please, <laughs> come on by Comic Con Row. I am literally right by the panel rooms. They're literally around the corner. So if you come around the corner, you see the big green screen. That's Griffin Wing Studio. Just come talk to me. I'm Q. Hopefully I'll see you there. Awesome. So take a right when you come in from the entryway. All right. <laughs> All right. Nap 
her with All With Love. This is my booth here at Comic Conroe. I'm also at allwithlove.net and allwithloveatx on Instagram. I guess my favorite item are these great messenger bags. I hand make everything in my shop. Everything I make uh, has a recycled or reclaimed item built into it, and every one of them is an individual item. Thanks a lot. See you soon. These are so cute. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> that's awesome. Anyway, and these are all quilts right here. Are these hand quilted or are these? Um, that's. I love the Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Check this out. Isn't this awesome? Can you see the details on it? So she made these herself. Yes, I did. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And crafted. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. And I and I actually saw yeah, like the stages of its build up. Mm -hmm. And you're going to be selling these? Yeah. Do you have a website? Yes. Um, I have an Instagram. Yes, yeah, I did. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I actually have an Instagram, um, Forsaken Freya. Forsaken Freya. It's all one word. Okay, so let me get on this side of the camera. Okay. <laughs> so check out her Instagram, Forsaken Freya, and she's got these awesome. Do you have any other ones that you make? Or these? Ones uh, yes, actually, um, Makana, you know, from um, Imaginite Ray Earth and Sadasa Chronicle. Okay, I don't know that one, but I bet it's awesome because these are really cool. <laughs> This is really great. It, it's hand sewing. And it's all hand done. Oh my gosh, I cannot hand sew. So. <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I like to sew, but I can't do it by hand. So that is awesome. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. Thanks so much for joining us. That was so much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you haven't had a chance to yet, please take a second, like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, comment down below, share with a friend. Did you get to come to Comic Con or today? Are you coming this weekend? Come on out. If you had fun with us today, Definitely check out my Patreon page below or buy me a cup of coffee on PayPal. Check out my social media links. Love you guys. Remember, let it go. You gotta let it go. <laughs> Don't listen to her. <laughs> Have a magical day. Bye. <laughs>